I have heard the argument time and time again that Amazon stock is undervalued. That there's hidden value within this company, that there's untapped value with Amazon stock. So we're going to investigate that today. We're going to be having a look at Amazon on a fundamental level and discussing whether or not it really is undervalued. Whether or not there is untapped value within this company. Because so many investors I have been seeing saying, you know, it's undervalued. You know, it could be as much as 50% below its intrinsic value, which seems like an absurd assumption to make in relation to such a closely followed company, such a highly market capitalization company, people making so many assertions about this company. So today, we're going to have a look. You know, on a fundamental financial strength basis, Amazon is firmly secure. A cash to debt ratio of 0.83. So obviously below one to one, but still very, very healthy when you take into account the free cash flow flowing into this company. Free cash flow from their e-commerce division, free cash flow from AWS, from their media businesses, constantly flowing in, enabling them not only to pay down their debt obligations on a short-term and long-term basis, but also continually reinvest. The highest, the largest R&D budget out of any tech firm. This company invests aggressively, and the massive free cash flows enabled them to do that. That's reinforced by a high Altman score. An Altman score of 5.31, large degree of financial safety on a financial strength basis. I can't complain about Amazon. Firmly secure, well entrenched, a high quality business. Profitability wise, this is where people get misled because naturally they see those lower net margins. They'll see net margins of only 7.1% and they'll think that naturally, you know, that's so much lower than Microsoft. That's so much lower than Google. It's so much lower than Facebook. Why would I be buying Amazon if their margins are so low? They're not the same kind of business. Amazon is a large scale e commerce operation relative to those other low capital cost business models. Facebook has low capital cost, Google low capital cost, Microsoft very low capital cost, while Amazon has fairly high capital costs. They need to build out their logistical network. They have marginal costs associated with each individual item sold and thus lower net margins are maintained relative to those pairs. But historically for the company and on an e-commerce industry basis, these net margins are absolutely fine. Returns on equity, very healthy returns on assets, more than healthy, healthy relative to the industry in which they're operating. Everything there I like. But people get put off. People get put off by the PE ratio. They say the PE ratio of 51.98 is far too high for this company. This company has grown exponentially over the past 10 years. How can it have such a high PE? Well, we're going to run a valuation. We're going to investigate that. We're going to see if there is untapped value in Amazon. So let's have a check it out. Let's have a look. Given the past growth rates for Amazon, Given a five-year growth rate of 71.1%, a five-year growth rate of 54.9%, you know what a 30% rate of growth be unjustified? I know it's a large-scale company, I know it's a large business, but think about the areas in which it's operating. E-commerce, which continues to be a powerful secular trend. Cloud computing. AWS, in which they are almost the market leader in conjunction with Azure right now. Potential for growth is magnitudinal. Combine that with their media business, combine it with the other acquisitions they're making, I believe that this company is exceptionally well positioned to compound consistent and meaningful growth going forward over the next decade. So if we price in, say, 30% growth on the stock, then well, look at our price target. A price target of $4,874.52 relative to the current trading price of three three six ninety three. dollars That's fairly appealing. That's a pretty large degree of upside, not half of what it should be as some investors have been speculating but still fairly undervalued so when you price in reasonable growth going forward on amazon it does look substantially undervalued a fairly appealing buying opportunity present but it's going to take time for that value to be realized you know i think amazon's been worth something around this for quite a while it's been worth this for months on end and yet the stock has been flatlining the stock has been flat for the past year i believe there we go 4.34% return over the past year. Very, very flat. So if you're investing in this company, if you're seeing that upside potential, as many investors are, I encourage you to have patience. I encourage you to wait it out because value like this, an investment like this isn't going to be realized in value tomorrow, not next month, perhaps not even six months, a year down the line. It may take two to three years to get that value realized. So be patient with it. Look at the company as a long-term investment and approach it as that. I think with Amazon, I think with the financial strength, the managerial quality of this business, you can't really go wrong if you are a patient, disciplined, long-term investor. So if you enjoyed this video, if I have to give you some more insight into Amazon stock, what I think about the company right now, then please 
drop us a like down below, hit subscribe if you haven't already. If there's a company you want me to talk about in the next video, then please just comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. But until then, thank you. I'll see you in the next one.